Sometimes in a conversation, you need an outside force. You need something outside of yourself to uh, get the gist of the conversation. This isn't always easy, is it? Not so easy, is it? We humans have a hard time generally understanding the context of anything, let alone our own life, but to actually have a framework for how we see a conversation that we are in conceptually, this is a leap, a leap, a big jump for most humans to do. Hi, everybody. This is Captain Sweep on the USS Penetrator, and I have been sent to your planet to assist you to go through the ascension process of which you are now in and unaware of. But across the galaxy, there's millions of species watching you going, this is going to be a funny one. These guys are really funny, man. Humans don't know it, but we are a galactic comedy channel for the rest of the galaxy. And they get a lot of uh, entertainment watching our evolution because it happens so fast and it happens so weirdly and it happens so funnily that everyone's just like, <laughs> so I'm your host. I've been sent here to sort of, you know, help out a bit. I've been undercover for all my life and now I'm coming out. I'm coming out of the closet and I'm just stating to you that I am now here and I'm here to, <laughs> I'm not quite sure what I can do. You guys are a little bit worse than I thought. I didn't, couldn't comprehend the level of insanity on this planet. And so that's just something I have to deal with. And uh, I'll go through the process with you because I'm a human too. I have been born here. I grew up here. I, I had a life and I didn't realize I was who I was until I realized who I was. And now I realized who I was. I'm into my spiritual destiny. I am here to be at one with all that is. And that's a very strange concept for most humans because all the religions have a different way of doing this. And in the rest of the galaxy, it's sort of obvious that there is this big cheese and you gotta be very in alignment with the big cheese because if you're not, things don't go well. And when you look at humanity and you wonder why things aren't going well, it's because you're not in alignment with the big Cheese. I know, I know, you don't believe me, but you'll get used to it. I mean, species go through this all the time. And uh, you have to sort of come to grips with who you are as a species. And so I'm speaking to you as a species, not like individual to individual. Just so you understand that, right? Because things may get a little weird at times and uh, we have to deal with that, all right? By the way, if there's any editors out there that uh, want a job at the very secret plant, you know, uh, send something to Captain Sweep and maybe we'll take a look at you and uh, see if you can uh, help us out. Because right now I'm kind of uh, new to this thing and uh, I need a little bit of help, you know. So I think I got to do a bit of a daily report because there's so much to talk about uh, in terms of what's happening on the planet at this time. And you, you have all these countries, right? You got countries that are sort of jostling for position and they're trying to make their mark on the planet. And a lot of people don't think at the country level. So first you think at the species level and then you got to think at the country level. And this is something where in your mind, you have to imagine yourself, let's say, to be in charge of Canada or to be in charge of the United States and to sort of formulate within yourself a mandate of who would you be if you were in charge of a country? And I think most humans don't think this way. And, and you need to because your country leaders are very pathetic. And uh, they're probably the worst we've seen in the galaxy in a long time. And we need some new ones. And so we're looking for national leaders who actually have some wisdom and intelligence and love for their people rather than... Uh, being puppets for the scammers that have taken over your planet. Or didn't I say that? Oh, yeah. By the way, uh, your planet has been taken over by a bunch of errorists. That's usually hard for most humans to digest. You seem to be very uh, 
brainwashed, if I may be so bold. Uh, most of you have no idea what is actually happening on your planet and you're lost in the samsara of the media of what is occurring and you know that's fine and dandy and if you're just an unconscious asleep human being then you can do that but if you actually want to be conscious aware and part of the galactic evolution of all entities then you have to take some self-responsibility for the sort of attack or the conditioning or the brainwashing of being involved in said prison world. So I'm coming from the outside telling you this, hoping that there's a little bit of a, oh, wow, gee, thanks, Captain Sweet. You know, uh, that helps us out here. Like for a while there, we thought we were this, but we're actually that. And now you're telling us, so we're going to help you. <laughs> oh, I know that's not going to happen. Oh, I know. I know what's actually going to happen is... So there are some beings that are outside of the scope of human thinking that look at the species and sort of go, you know, things are not quite the way that you think they are right and that's why we're talking right now like i'm not going to be liked by many people i understand that hard truths are difficult to swallow just like certain pills are hard to swallow and to fully understand what is happening to the human species at this time you have to jump out you have to break free of the lies, of the conditioning, of the everything. You see, when you're in a prison world, when you're trapped, everything is part of the illusion. And if one little piece doesn't fit, the mind goes, wow, 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 Right? I'll try to say it simply that the people who watch these videos and actually watch them are going to be the people who take over the planet because there's been a shift in the hierarchy. There's been a change in the galactic organization and the dark forces, the insane ones are no longer in charge, but they still think they are and they're still running their programs with all you humans and all the humans are going along with it. But, there's some in the know who go, nah, that's not going to work anymore. And we're going to bring in new systems. So we're bringing in some new planetary systems to help out this world because you guys have been fucked for a long time. And it's going to take some time to move into the flow, to move into the love, to move into where we're nice to each other and aren't trying to blow each other up and take each other's things. This is stuff of the past. We don't want to do that anymore. We're nice. The galaxy is beautiful. Other species are actually wise and intelligent. And that is part of the problem is human perception. Thinking that we have to build weapons to go conquest and kill and defend and do whatever we do. Other species look at us and go, nah. We don't really want to deal with you, okay? Like, get your house in order, which means become a peaceful world, which we will interact with. We don't want to interact with a bunch of insane nutballs. So that said, we have to look at the Earth from a point of view of, let's say, the moon, where you're way outside of the scope of the human condition and from the moon you can look at the human condition and go hmm okay well this moon here look at it like there's no atmosphere there's no life it is dead you don't want to be a moon right because the moon is just like eh. so parties you know you can't kind of hike you can't kind of get some gas somewhere like, if you're stranded on the moon, you're kind of really screwed. You got to get this. This is like beyond human thinking. We think that it's always going to be good. But if you don't take care of your home, you don't take care of your 
world? Do you let something come in and screw it up that everything dies, which means your species can die and you don't want that, do you? I mean, I know most of you are thinking like individuals and you're going to your jobs and you're doing your little things. And it's fine. It's wonderful. It's beautiful. But combined all together, the species is like, what the fuck are you doing? And so you're in this evolution. You're in this crisis point. You're in this place of opportunity where the species can self-evolve sort of see itself and move into a beautiful place or you can self-destruct because each individual decided to become an unconscious drone and let the errorists ruin a good thing. So you have to decide which part of the equation are you on? Are you wanting to continue insanity or do you want to go to a place that is nice and loving and beautiful? Oh, I know, I know, I know. You probably haven't had your coffee yet. It's probably a little too much to digest at this time, right? It's like, oh, man, I just thought I was good, you know, like play some games. I was going to get some turkey and I'm going to have my beer and maybe I, you know, do a jog later today and talk to my mom. That's a level of thinking. There are other levels of thinking. There are higher levels of thinking. You have to think into the future. That's what this is. You can think into the future. You can see into the future. Or you can think into the past. You can see into the past. And the mind has the ability to move in time. I mean, that's what's so freaking incredible about this noggin up here. We get to think about things. And it changes, it moves. There's this inner mind that this map is the overarching container for. If you look at this map right here, we're in the present moment. And over there, the future is the future. And over there, in the past, is the past. This is conceptual. This is like, what do you mean? I can't see the past. I'm, I'm sitting here. I'm sitting because you're in the present moment. You might be looking out a window, it might be looking at your screen, whatever you're doing, you're here, we're here, we're here. But it's captured in video. At some point, this is going to be captured from the past. All right? Do you get it? Do you got it? That's good because it's very important. You might understand that I like maps, right? This is another conceptual map. This is the big map. This is Captain Sweep's primary map. This is a map I would love to give to the species, but I know you're going to go, you don't like your map. We don't want to use your map. We're going to use time the way we use time all the time. I check my watch. I look at my calendar. I'm doing my things. Don't tell us about time, Captain Sweep. Well, it's going to take some time to transfer the knowledge about time we'll go step by step right lindsay step by step captain sweep is going to bring a new time instrument to the species are you ready for it <laughs> <laughs>